Now today I'm putting together a good mood board. I'll be honest with you, I've been in a bit of a grump this week, partly because the weather has been atrocious, hence the frizz, and I haven't been able to do any of the external work I wanted to. Um, secondly, I've been trying to cut down on caffeine. Oh my goodness, it's horrendous. So anyway, I needed a bit of a pick-me-up and I decided to tackle the lounge. Now, the lounge is a damn sight better than it was when we moved in and it's quite an elegant room, but it's just feeling a bit bland, a bit blur. And one of the things I have learned over the years from decorating houses is um, it's better to go for a neutral background. There are a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, you never know when your circumstances are going to change and when you might need to sell. And you're always gonna find it easier to sell if it's neutral. Because of course, everyone has their own wants and desires. You can't please everyone. And secondly, um, fashions change, your tastes change. You can get a bit sick of the same color scheme. Um, and if you've got uh, some bold colors that you've added to a room, you can quite easily and cost effectively change them over the years and keep the sort of more expensive background the same. And thirdly, if you go all out there and paint everything orange, think, yeah, I'm gonna be bold, I'm gonna be uh, brave and outrageous, once you've done it all and you've put the work in, you might actually not like it. So I prefer to, to add the layers as I go along. And it's good to have lived in a room for a little while to see what the light does, to see what kind of mood you want to be in in that room. So there are a couple of things that have inspired me. But first of all, let me just go through the background colours that I have. So on the walls, we have a Dulux colour called Nutmeg White. The carpet is Oyster and um, the curtain material, curtains are still yet to go up by the way, is an Ashley Wilde uh, fabric called Tate Dove and then truffle on the sofas and they all blend quite nicely together. And I've been inspired by a couple of things. So first of all, I was just perusing one of my favourite fabric shops um, on Berwick Street in London um, and found this Liberty fabric, which I just think is stunning. And I've been trying to work out how I can, how I can fit it into the house. So there's that, but also I've been refurbing this fireplace. And um, what I noticed is it's got, I think it's where the copper's discolored slightly and it's got like a turquoise tinge to it. And I just think it's beautiful and it goes really nicely with the tiles that I've put on the hearth and also the sort of uh, the rest of the color scheme in the room, but it's just a bit different. It's gonna add another element to the room. So that is what I'm going to go with. So I'm gonna use the Liberty fabric for the reverse side of the window treatment I'm gonna be doing. I'll do a whole blog on that one. Um, it's gonna be my take on swags and tails. So then I've got this lovely fabric, but nice plain color there um, that's gonna last for years because curtains are expensive to either make or have made. Um, and then this just, just gives you a touch of interest, but at the same time, I'm going to be able to change that over the years when I get bored of it or when it goes out of fashion. So I'll probably make cushions out of that fabric. And then I really wanted to have some lively cushions around the sofas. That's something I can easily change over the years and I can easily put in there in the first place. So I've been looking at some different uh, unusual fabrics. Those two I love, but they're not right for in here. So we're taking those away. Um, now, these two I really like. They're a little bit different, but they all go together. Um, and then this one, wouldn't normally bring it in, but actually there's um, a piece of art that we're keeping in the lounge here. And so the orange actually ties that in as well. So I think those go beautifully together. And so they are gonna be um, for the cushions. Now the furniture in here, well, the coffee table and the side tables we've had um, for quite a while and we just have them in here because we have them already, but they're not really elegant enough for this room. So what I've got instead, I've bought these, 20 quid for a nest of tables. This is from Hospice in the Wheel. And um, they look revolting right now, I know, but I've used these kind of coffee tables before. And you'll notice here with this one that they're perfect for getting that sort of shabby chic effect. And then because they have glass on the top, it means that you can go with a design underneath the glass and that's protected and you don't have to worry too much about marks or anything like that. Um, then that's easily changed over the years as well. So what I'm planning to do is um, tie in the sort of turquoise color. So I've got, I've uh, been testing out some paints here, quite a few different colors. And the ones I've decided to go with are uh, Annie Sloan colors. So um, this is Provence and this one is beautiful. That's it there. 
If I do graphite in the background, then I can bring out um, the background colour and it just sort of adds a bit of depth to it. And I may also use the duck egg blue on top of that because that's a, a really, really lovely colour to incorporate and, and actually ties in this Liberty fabric even more. So I'm planning to do that on the outside, but this serviette or pack of serviettes I found ages ago and I absolutely love it. And I've been really wanting to, to find a way of uh, incorporating it into the lounge because I feel like it goes really well with the, the tiles I've done on the hearth, but also ties in some of the other colors, but is a bit brighter, a bit more, um, a bit more fun. So I'm actually gonna have a go at decoupage um, and the great thing is because the glass on top will protect it, I don't need to worry too much about that. So I can um, have a go at that and make this into an interesting nest of tables. So I'm quite excited about doing that. I will do that in a future vlog and show you how that's all done and how it comes together. Now this coffee table I really like and I'm going to keep this because it's actually a chest and um, great for storage as well. Um, but I found a square box that is much lower and I feel like a square works better with this space. It also means that as you come in for the door, you can see the fireplace, which is obviously a focal point in the room. And again, what I'm going to do is bring that in line with the um, side tables, with the nest of side tables, um, again with the Provence um, as our main colour. So I'm really feeling like this is going to add some colour into the room and really make a difference. So although it's not on a board, this is my living 3D mood board. Now maybe that that's enough to give this room what I want, but I've got a couple of other things up my sleeve. So this uh, side lamp here, I've got two of these. I really love them. They've actually met with mixed reaction. Um, they come from a shop called Dovetail, which I love. And I was thinking that if I just add a little bit of the, maybe the duck egg there, just to, to soften it and tie it all in together, that could look really good. But also the corner unit that I've got in this room, um, I could paint just the interior so that it comes through the glass, but without being too in your face and ties it all in together. But the beauty of doing something like this is I can gradually build on it rather than going all in there and then finding that it's too much. So my home coaching tip for today, what is your priority at the moment? Do you need to feel more relaxed because you're going through a stressful time? Do you maybe need to feel motivated because you've got something coming up that you need to get done? Now I want you to think back to a moment in your life when you felt that emotion at its strongest. What colour comes to mind? What colour suits that moment? And then I want you to try to incorporate that colour into a central room in your home. And what that will do, it will serve as a trigger and help you towards accomplishing that particular goal. And that's it for today. I'll see you soon.